back here, which can only mean one thing. Another weigh in day update video. All right, let's go see how I did. Or didn't do. It's so funny because he keeps the green chair out here as a marker that the meeting is in this way. I recorded like a whole three minutes until I realized I have lipstick on my teeth. That's what I get for not wearing my glasses. I think it's all gone. Yes, I can live with this. Anyways, everyone, hello, welcome back. My name is Maureen. Welcome back to my planet. And today I'm bringing you another weigh in day update video. Before I get into that, though, you guys completed the Valentine's Day challenge. Amazing job. I my previous video was about it. So great job, everyone. You all rocked it. And I asked you if you guys wanted another challenge. This one more to keep us maybe the Valentine's Day challenge was to like get us back on the wagon if we fell off. This one is more to keep us on it. And a lot of you were like, yes. And Bernadette suggested the super cute name of the swing into spring challenge. I thought that was really cute. So here we have it. Another challenge, swing into spring. According to Google, spring starts on March 20th. So that's that'll be our official cutoff date, the 20th. And we have that time to do some damage. My goal is to get to goal. Yours can be whatever. Let's say, for example, we have 25 days until until then. I, 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 don't, I don't know. We probably have more or less. I don't know. I don't even know what day it is. Let's say we have 20 days though. Yours can yours doesn't have to be weight related. It can be like out of those 20 days, 12 of those days, I want to get 10,000 steps or 10 of those days, I want to track and track accurately. It can be whatever you want. Mine is to get to goal. Yours can be to lose five pounds, whatever it is, but let's commit to something. How many days are we going to do it? And let's go. Swing into spring starts now, you guys. Here's another challenge. All right. Now for the weigh in day, for the weigh in update. How did I do? How did I do on the scale? Well, this week, okay, so obviously, Super Bowl. Yes. Rams won! Woohoo! Take that, Bengals fans. You heard of sore losers. I'm a sore winner. I'm never going to live this down. Yeah. Home team won, Rams won, woo, baby. Anyways, so that day, of course, I gave myself permission to indulge, overindulge even. I had pizza. I had chips and dip. I had Dr. Pepper. I had, I don't know what else I had, but I had it. Maybe sweets. I don't remember, but I had, I don't know, but I ate, I ate. And that was just supposed to be one day. And the rest of the week, I was supposed to get back on it, get back on the wagon. And that didn't happen. I don't know what happened this week. I feel like I had a monster inside of me that just came out. And it was like this whole week. I want to blame it on that time of the month because that's what it was. And I always have this problem during that time of the month is that I just get ravenous and I want to eat all the sweets. That's what it was, the sweets cravings. And I did all of the tips in the book. Like er, er, everything I have learned in my years of Weight Watchers, I did it. I went for a drive. I went for a walk. I did yada, yada, yada. I literally did everything. And still, like that monster that came out was not like it was still there. It still wanted it. So I still have Halloween candy. So I had it. I had this, no, not the Skittles. Do I have Skittles? I don't know. I had the M&Ms. I had the Twix. I had all that good stuff. And it wasn't just one. It was like a lot. And then it, that's when the monster like went down. So I don't know what it was, but at the end of the day, could I have done things differently? I really don't think so because again, I did everything all the tips, everything, every, you could be like, oh, did you try this? Yes, I tried it. Everything you can say, did you try this and this? Yes, I tried it. And it just wasn't going away. So I feel like I had to feed the beast. I had to, I had to feed the beast. I, and that's the only thing that worked. Would I have done anything differently? I, I don't know, because I did everything that I was supposed to. I really can't think right now what I could have done differently. But... um. 
And so the result is this. Yeah. Am I, like, I saw it coming. I own up to this. I saw it coming. Am I happy about it? No, because, again, I'm losing, like, 0.4 per week because I'm 3.4 away from goal. So it takes a long time to get it down. And I feel like I just blew weeks worth of effort. And now I'm up 1.2 and it's going to take me, it's probably going to take me spring into swing to get all of this down or get all of it off. Um, I don't know. Like I'm upset about it. I'm not happy. It takes a long time for me to get a pound down. So I don't know, but on the bright side, got to look at the bright side. What's the bright side? Today, today is the last day of that. Yeah. So back to tracking. I wasn't tracking. Back to tracking, back to exercise, back to all the things I need to do. That's it. Next week, I don't have weigh-in on Saturday because the the hotel was like, oh, there's three days out of this year that you can't have meetings here because we already have this room booked. So next week is going to be one of those. I'm thinking of going into an actual studio. He has an actual meeting in his studio on Fridays. I'm thinking about doing that. So that's probably going to be it. Positives. Were there any positives though this week? Yes, there was. I bought Girl Scout cookies, two boxes. Why is that a positive? Because in the Weight Watcher community, it's like we stay away from Girl Scout cookies. We don't buy those. We don't have them in the house, blah, 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 blah. And I'm just thinking here, like, why? Why are we acting like one of those cookies is a gazillion points? It's not. It's like three or four or whatever, however many points. You can easily fit that into a day. And this goes back to what we were talking about a couple of weeks ago, all or nothing. It's like either I'm eating the whole box of Girl Scout cookies or I'm eating none. No, why? Why not just eat one or two or if points allow three? Like, why do you need to eat the whole box or none at all? Like, are you really going to spend forever not eating Girl Scout cookies? No, have them. They only come once a year. I haven't bought them in two years. Thank you, pandemic. But I'm like, I'm going to enjoy these cookies. I bought my favorite ones. I still need to get the Thin Mints. And I can have one or two. My points let me. And here's the thing. I think the thing is, like, we just scarf them down. We just, like, eat them, like, bang, 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 bang. And we don't even realize we ate them. Whereas if you just stop everything you're doing and you sit down and you take a bite, maybe eat like less than half of it and really chew it and let the flavors float around your tongue and just do that. Multi you can probably get like two or three bites out of it, two or three bites out of one cookie and you thoroughly enjoy it and savor it. You'll, you'll see that you don't need more. Like that will get the job done and it gets easier the more you do it. So yeah, you don't need, you don't need to be eating more. You just need to eat one, thoroughly enjoy it. And if you feel like you need another, have another, but you're going to see the more and more you do this, you're going to see that you really don't need more. So that's it. I'm going to go be miserable about this. I'm thinking I'm going to show you guys lunch now because yes, I still have a lot of time. So I'm going to... I'll show you guys my lunch and make this like a vloggy vlog. That'll be fun. So stay tuned for that. For this, I mean, it's not permanently attached to me, though it does feel like it. I'm not even 60 pounds down. Now I'm 59.6. 59.6 pounds down, but... I kind of feel like I'll let you guys down too. So, because I was on a roll. It was loss, 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 loss. 0.4, but it was still a loss. And now it's like, oh, let me just gain all that back. Throw away all these weeks of hard work. Sad. Sad. But you know, there's nothing you can do other than pick yourself up, dust everything off. What's done is done. That week is done. Thank God. So... Let's keep chugging forward. And now, if you'd like to join me for lunch, let's move on to that. Yes, boys and girls, a burger for lunch. Yes, it's a little burned, but I still like it. It's so good. And I'm going to slather one of these little laughing cow cheeses onto it. I was trying to, like, talk and assemble this at the same time, and that was a huge disaster failure. It's the garlic herb flavor. I don't know if I said that.
but yeah it was a huge failure so I, I I'm not that I'm not talented like that I'm not so I'm doing a voiceover <laughs> for this and these buns they're the oro wheat uh, onion whole wheat I think but there are six points and they're pretty good. I got them from Stater Brothers. Just slather on the laughing cow. Yeah, I'm just not talented like that. I can't talk and assemble food at the same time. Hopefully one day I'll be able to do that. But today is not that day. <clears throat> So yeah, just putting all of it on. And you know me, I like getting every little worth of my point. Every little morsel worth of my point I need it so there we go and then I'm just gonna put in this is just shredded lettuce that I'm putting on and I put half a tablespoon of the Trader not Trader Joe's the Stater Brothers light ranch onto it just to like as a glue to hold it together for zero points and yeah there we go I'm gonna add the whole thing this, I, this is a cup because I measured it out, but I don't track vegetables like that. <clears throat> I don't need the extra points that I get from vegetables. I don't think it's necessary, so I just don't track it. But hey, doesn't mean I don't eat them. And I keep it, you know, it's a good backup anyways. And then I'm going to add my chicken breast. Yes, my chicken. If you can't tell, I love burned food. That's that's just me. And again, if you're watching this and if I put anything on here that you're like, meh, I don't like that. That's okay. This is just a visual show. You arrange your burgers how you like according to your taste. There's people who put egg on their burgers and I gag at that. You know me. I do not like eggs. So now I'm just adding my vegetables. And I say that because of this. I know a lot of people don't like mushrooms and pickles that you're going to see later on. You don't have to put them on. I don't like to, uh, tomatoes, so I'm not putting that on, as you can see. But if you like, oh no, my little my little onion fell, fell down. But yeah, as you can see, it's fine. And I don't like tomato, but if you like tomato, put it on, according to your taste. Here comes my pickles. I know people don't like pickles. There are some who don't, so you don't have to put it. Put what you want on. And here's a nice little... Here's a nice little hot tip that my leader gave one time. He said for, oh yeah, and I'm going to add mustard, zero points. I think, I hope it's still zero points. I didn't check, but I really hope it's zero points. But you know what? It's mustard. It's fine. Anyways, here's a nice little tip that my leader gave one time. He said for your burgers, when you're making them, aside from your protein, choose one thing that you want to have points. And just that one thing. So like, for example, oh yeah, and then I'm going to spice things up. This Frank's um, buffalo hot sauce. It's so good. It's not like even hot or spicy. It just has that nice flavor to it. And I love putting this on everything. So yeah, he said, aside from the protein, choose one thing you want to have points. So either like your sauce or your cheese. I'm a cheese girl. So cheese, definitely. This is not pretty. If you wanted Martha Stewart, this is not the channel for that. This is more of a Paris Hilton. And again, if you haven't seen Cooking with Paris on Netflix, I highly suggest you do. No, it's not like a legit cooking show, but it's so funny. It's hilarious. I was honestly crying and she is exactly how I cook in the kitchen. Not exactly neat. So, but I, I need all of this on my burger. Okay, I need all of it. Yeah, little stuff came out, but... Celebi, here we go. All right, let's do a little taste testing now. Yay! All right, so lunch is done. Here's my delicious little burger. I did have a bottle of water before. I always drink one of these before breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So that way, at least I'm getting in three bottles, and that's just like a habit now. And I do that regardless. So, yeah. So let's let's uh, let's bite it in, shall we? Let's see how it is. Let's see how it goes. I like it. It's good. Obviously. <laughs> I 
that's really good so again just showing a simple little sandwich you can make or burger you can make burgers are not off the menu really easy really delicious and just this way you can control the points that go in so thank you guys for watching like this video subscribe if you want to see more subscribe if you want to see how i do on friday and leave a comment below i love hearing from you guys so i'll talk to you next time monday monday i think i don't know but i'll talk to you next time bye